and we have a new NBA champion. It is the Toronto Raptors, and um, all props and kudos go out to them. First championship um, north of the border in the NBA, uh, and um, the acquisition by Masai Ujiri of Kawhi Leonard paid off. Even if he leaves, it paid off. It's hard to win championships. I always had some doubt whether or not if they got to the championship and they lost, whether it was worth it to give up a guy like DeMar DeRozan. But now there's no argument. And I, I have a feeling that Kawhi Leonard is going to leave because he had many opportunities after the game yesterday to say, this is where I want to be. He said, well, I'll take care of that. Now I just want to celebrate with these guys. Never ever, ever tipped his hand that he was going to stay in Toronto. I don't think he will. If he does, I'll say I was wrong. But even if he does leave, that's a deal you do over and over and over again. And, you know, with the news that's coming out yesterday from Woj, Ujiri might not even care. The, the Washington Wizards are preparing an offer of $10 million a year wow. for Ujiri to take over their role of president of basketball operations. And, you know, some people might roll their eyes at that. The way sports are right now, I think a front office genius is almost as important as a superstar on the court. It just is. Look at the team he put together. Not one top 15 pick. First time ever in the NBA that a team without a top 15 pick actually won a championship. And he made a bold and decisive move to get Kawhi Leonard. And I give him credit. Let's see if he stays. He got into a little bit of a, a kerfuffle yesterday where he supposedly, allegedly, uh, threw a punch and hit a police officer in Oakland, so he's in a little bit of trouble, but he does have a championship ring. He's probably going to get a huge offer from the Washington Wizards. And, you know, on the other side, the Golden State Warriors, it's hard to say they lost. I know people not, might not like that take. Would they have lost if they had Durant? Would they have lost last night if Klay Thompson didn't tear up his knee? Would they? Could they? Should they? They did. So the Raptors, you can't take the championship away, but I do wonder, would the Raptors be able to beat a team like Golden State with all of their players healthy and playing well. I just don't think they would. But this just comes down to, Michael, it's Golden State, and this is why it's so difficult to repeat, and, and certainly difficult to repeat multiple times, just the sheer number of games you have to play. And this is something that I think a lot of champions should file away, is that you've got a lot of games that you play. So maybe going six with the Clippers, um, going six with Houston. They did sweep Portland. But maybe you got to try to make shorter work of the Clippers. Maybe if you had swept the Clippers, maybe that's two less games that that Clay Thompson would have had to play, that some of the injured players would have had to have to go through. But all the games there were, uh, just think of the mileage that are on all those players, Michael, over the last four years, the sheer number of games they've had to play. Now the Raptors played their fair amount too. They were going to the playoffs every year, but it's different getting you know bounced in the second round as opposed to going to the finals every single year. It's got to well, catch I, up with you at some point. I, it's a war of I, attrition, and it's hard when you got that many more games than everybody else that you're playing. I'm glad you brought it up, and Steve Kerr brought it up yesterday, not as an excuse, but the amount of injuries, significant injuries, um, that happened to the Golden State Warriors. You've got to attribute some of it to playing extra games that other teams don't play. And, and that's why, frankly, what LeBron James did, going to the finals for eight straight years, you know what wear and tear on the body is? Oh, yeah, he missed the 17 games this year. I get it. So finally, sooner or later, at the age of 34, his body is going to pay the toll for all those, uh, those miles that you put on it. And that's why when you look at the New York Yankees and what they did in 96, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, those players held up over long stretches of play. I mean, you look at Mar Mariano Rivera and Derek Jeter and Jorge Posada. They essentially added one more year to their career. In terms of games played, if you took the games they played in the postseason, it's a full season, and the body does not react as well. And that's just baseball, which is tough enough. But basketball, the wear and tear on your body, I think the body of Durant, the body of Klay Thompson, not as strong. The, you, the body is not, you, you're not a machine. You're not a robot. And you are going to wear down. And, and I think the bodies just gave out. And I believe that's why Golden State lost. And I know that sounds like I'm taking something away from Toronto. Maybe I am. But Kevin Durant at full health, Clay Thompson at full health, and Steph Curry, I'm sorry, I don't think the Raptors beat him. Because look at everything that happened yesterday. Clay Thompson goes down, and they were in it right till the very, very end. And with all the injuries, even without Durant, Durant essentially playing 12 minutes in this series, and the Golden State Warriors still won two games. I, I think the Golden State Warriors 
as they were once constructed and probably will never be constructed again, they're better than Toronto. I, but but isn't that just that's I mean that's sports. That's life. That's sports. That's, that's sports. every. Well, you, I, I'm trying to think of. There's so many examples of it. Whether it's the Philadelphia Eagles a couple of years ago, or basically every NFL playoffs where someone critical is missing from a team who goes deep, that's just part of the game. And frankly, look how good Golden State was, even with what happened, that they found a way to do it and keep bouncing back. Now, it's almost good to me that it ended last night because I do think that minus Clay Thompson in Game Seven would have been a waste of time. I don't think they. I don't think it's even possible. I agree with you. Uh, I, I, you could see. They were sucking wind in the fourth quarter, and it shows you. I, I had tweeted this out the other day when they won in Toronto. Champions don't die easy. And you could see the championship timber came out in them. They were fighting an uphill battle. Battle. They were Sisyphus, put, pushing that rock up the hill. It was going to roll back down on them. They knew it, but they kept grinding. They wanted a game seven. And in my opinion, they win a game. They 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 play a game seven. They probably would have gotten blown out in Toronto without Clay Thompson. They just didn't have enough. They didn't have enough weapons, and you could see that when it's all on Steph's back, as great as he is, he's one of the great players that we'll ever see. He's slight in stature. He's a he's a small guy. He is going to break down and wear down. He didn't have it yesterday. That was an open look for the game winner. Totally. And he just clanked it. Everybody's complaining. Well, they were down by one. Why wouldn't they just what? go for two, drive the lane? No, no, well, no. Well, because they're a three-point shooting team. You have one of the greatest shooters of all time, and you got him wide open, and he clanked it. He doesn't clank that well, in November, I don't think.